Now something else came up. 0.92 of Home Assistant is the end of the Great Migration. That means some of the things that they've been tolerating for a while are now breaking changes. Specifically, how that has affected me has been a few custom components, including the Life360 component. So since I'm here at this point where I need to do something to fix those custom components, it seemed like a good time to start using the custom updater. So here we are, custom updater installation page. We're going to walk through it and do it. If you're upgrading from a previous version, then go to the custom components folder and delete custom updater.py. Soccer game outside. That's better. So there is my config custom components and there is custom updater.py. So deleting is one thing. We're just going to cut it out and paste it somewhere for... It always seems so final to delete something like that. So there. Now it's gone. Create a directory called custom updater in the config directory custom components directory on your home system instance. Okay. That was easy. Install this component by copying the files custom component updater init py and services py from this repo into your new custom updater directory. Okay. There they are. Grab this and then say raw, and now we can save as, and then put it in the right place. Home Assistant Config, Custom Components, Custom Updater. Save that. One down, one to go. Services, raw, save as. Still in the Custom Updater folder here, Custom Updater. Uh, services, oh, yaml.txt, no, we want. We can verify here, Custom Updater has init.py and services.yaml. Excellent. So I've got the right files in the right place. What's the next step? Add this to your configuration.naml. <laughs> .naml? Add this to your configuration.yaml. So custom updater. Let's go to my configuration.yaml. See if I've already got it somewhere. Custom updater. I do. Right there. Okay. This is all the optional configuration options for this component. Okay, I'm not going to do any of the optional stuff. I'm just going to stick with the basic configuration. So that's the custom updater. So now we know we have the custom updater installed. I should probably restart Home Assistant just to make sure. Let's do that. Configuration. It's going to give me an error probably. I probably need to highlight out something. Uh, so let's go to the configuration and we need to get rid of Life360 for a minute. Okay, try it again. Checks out this time. Restart. Home Assistant's back up, so it's time to do the next step, which is installing. To install one of the custom, one of these custom components or Python scripts for the first time, Use custom updater.install service with the appropriate service data. Okay. Well, this is cool. I didn't know this was how this worked. Down here in the corner, which you can't see because it's behind my big fat melon. Down there, right there, is the services tab. All right. We're going to go to the service now should be custom updater.install. Okay. And then we got to do some JSON. It tells you right there, element is the name. JSON's not so hard when you know it's just quotes and where to put the quotes and where to put the colons. And then it tells us the element is device tracker dot life 360. So I'm going to copy that. I know I've got a life 360 folder already. I'm going to get rid of it. So I'm going to cut it. All right. Device tracker dot life 360 close squiggly brackets and then call service, I believe. And look at that. It did. It put life 360 there and it put all the right things in all the right places. That's it. Now I know back in my configuration, I already had life 360. So I'm going to undo this as a test to see if you need to restart home assistant after you add a custom component or not. If this does not work, 
gives me an invalid configuration, then you need to restart Home Assistant when you add a custom component. Well, look at that. You don't need it. Okay, let's restart it and see what happens. Well, Home Assistant restarted, and now it shows me as home. The problem was I was sitting here in my office and it was showing me as away. See all this time here from the time I updated to 0.92 of Home Assistant until just now, Life360 wasn't working. It thought I was away. Now it knows I'm home again. To make the most out of your custom component updater, you're gonna to wanna to install custom component tracker card for Lovelace. That's this. It shows you a list of all of the custom cards and custom components that you have installed, gives you your current version and lets you know if there's any new version available and makes it very easy to update if there is a new version. So to install this card, this is what we need to do. This is the tracker card GitHub page. You need this trackercard.js file. Save it wherever you like to keep your custom Lovelace cards. For me, that's just the www folder. There it is. Once you have that saved there, you can go to Lovelace, open up the raw configuration, and add these two lines to install the tracker card, or at least to let Lovelace know where to find the tracker card. It's a type module, and the URL is slash custom cards, which actually will still look in the www folder and then tracker-card.js is the file and track equals true. After adding that, save it. Then go to the view that you want to install the card on, add a new card, make a manual card, and the type is custom and then tracker card. And that's it. Save that and it'll pop up wherever you put it. Now, what do you do if you have a custom component that isn't showing up on this custom components updater card? For me, that's the situation with one of my favorite custom components, which is she who shall not be named as a media player. To get this media player component to show up on my custom components tracker card, this is what I need to do. First, go to the GitHub page for your component and hopefully they have a file that contains the information that the tracker card needs. In this case, they do. It's customcomponents.json. When you've got this file open, click raw, and then grab the URL. Copy it. Now we're gonna go to the configuration.yaml file, and under custom updater, we add a line that says component URLs. And then under custom component URLs, we paste the raw URL for the custom components.json file. We save it. Go to Home Assistant, check the config, and then restart. When Home Assistant came back up, I can now go to my custom tracker card and I can see that my she who shall not be named media component is added to the list and I can see that I am several versions behind. So let's update that. And there we go. Alexa Media is now part of my list and it tells me it's up to date. Wonderful. Well, that's it for custom component management. Big thanks to Ludeus for making the custom updater and the custom component tracker card. Give them a high five when you see them on the street. That's all for now. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time, adios.